larger perspective, when you think about structural change, a lot of times the changes that you see that are being made structurally are coming from the top down. People on an administrative level that are not working hand in hand or actually on the ground working with people. So from my experience, there has to be an involvement from the grassroots. People who are on the ground who have the actual experience where they can inform and educate those who are in an administrative position that are oftentimes decision makers, but they don't know what the hell is going on. Right? So there has to be that level of engagement. You know, I've been to poverty conferences where I look up on the panel and there's not one poor person up there. And I'm like, what is y'all talking about? You know what I'm saying? Or you have people discussing stuff that needs to happen with the youth, and you look around and everybody's over 60. You know? Have the people involved that, that you're saying that you're striving to serve. That's important too. You know? But, um, you know, that's, that's number one. You have to do a needs assessment to find out where you can meet people and what, what is necessary. And at the same time, you have to have involvement in various different elements. Because everybody brings something and some perspective to the table. A lot of times, when you see decisions being made, it's like everybody's not represented. What, you know, represented. What do you expect is going to happen? And sometimes that's done deliberately too, right? Because it perpetuates and upholds a certain system that is feeding some people. You know, I happen to have like auto mechanics that. If I have an issue with my car, I could bring it to them and they'd throw my hood up and show me exactly what they're doing. Be like, hey, this is what's going on. You know, this is what you need to get. Um, you can get it at this cost here, but this is a better place to get that part at. I have people that have that kind of relationship with me. But a lot of times, you are amongst people that would say, just give me the keys and drop it off. You need an oil change. By the time you get back, they're like, oh, man. You need struts, you need an oil change, you know, this muff, let me show you this right here, you know? I mean, that's, that's a capitalistic mentality, you know, you feed off of the poor. And some people have that type of mindset, and, and being invested in equity is something that will affect their bottom line, and they're not going to be with it. I remember one time I was watching a Democratic National Convention, and there was this one political pundit up there talking all proudly about how much money was going into health care how they were building this medical facility here, and how they were providing these services here, and how they're doing this and doing that. I'm sitting there listening to it, and I'm like, so there's more people sick than there's ever been before, right? That's what you're saying, right? And one of the things my mother used to say is you have to be able to read between the lines and listen to the unspoken words, right? So a lot of times, being an advocate for social change and social justice Doing a needs assessment, you also need to know who's who in the zoo. Who's who in the zoo, <coughs> right? Same thing when you become employed and you go into a work environment. You need to know who's who. So you know what, need, what place you need to put yourself in because everybody is, is even people in this room, is not in agreement with what I'm saying. I'm not under no illusion that people are in agreement with what I'm saying. Right? It's kind of like Malcolm X when he used to make speeches, he would say, you know, to my friends and my enemies. Because he knew some people in the room wasn't with what he's saying. But if you're really passionate about doing that kind of work, I'm explaining to you some of the, the best practices and strategies in order to be effective. Right? And then also understand that some of the people in the room that's not with it, they're also taking notes so that they can strive to